hi this is my first video on the adapting series this is Rashidi okay um we're gonna be seeing West Bromwich Albion play Manchester City um I'm not gonna be making too many changes bringing in some new younger players into the team giving them some much needed experience um the formation I'm gonna use is the 4-3-1-2 it features uh, two attacking complete wing backs I will make some changes possibly to how I play depending on how Manchester City have lined up um, this is uh, the way I set my screen up for match day um, valuing teamwork and anticipation above all else we are still unbeaten it's I think about 230 games now in all competitions um, I still like the uh, whole tunnel interview it's uh, something we asked for a long time ago but yeah okay so here's the setup for the game City are playing a 5-3-2 it's going to be important to um, find out how fast those wing backs are um, so that I can adjust and see whether or not my CWBs need to swap to full backs so I'll check their pace and acceleration to see if they are going to be a danger now this guy doesn't seem to be too bad because he's off the ball is only 11 um, this guy is also around 11 has got some pace but um, I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue but I'll give them some respect and I might um, change things around for the way we cover our flanks because even though the three central defenders make an easy target for my three strikers I still have to um, consider the threat on the flanks I marked out the areas which are important I need to make sure that those areas are covered also the gap between the central defenders and the wing backs of the opposition when I see the large gap between the central defenders and the attacking group I know that there's space to be exploited if you look at this formation you know that there's a gap between midfield and defense that you should be able to exploit corner kicks are great you need to decide whether or not you wanna be the sort of player that controls the game or just throws everything at it I prefer to have players lurking outside the box or in and around the box so that we can get possession back if we lose it when the opposition clears the ball from the defense you want to make sure that your last line doesn't have to travel too far backwards to get that ball you also want to see your players intercept the ball quickly and move the ball easily between themselves attributes like concentration anticipation first touch teamwork passing and off the ball are going to be important when you want to have good passing triangles that put pressure on the other side attacking wing backs are great but their conditioning needs to be looked after you gotta make sure that these guys can last the whole game because they do a lot of running Attacking complete win backs add a lot of width to your game but when they go up to attack in the opponent's third you need to be careful about the gaps that they leave behind it's for this reason I spend a lot of time choosing complete win backs really carefully looking at base acceleration of the ball positioning um, anticipation tackling complete wing backs add a lot of dimension to your game they do really well in a system where you don't have attacking midfielders on the flanks this is the wing back playing on the left flank those qualities make a complete wing back a deadly player on the pitch if you're playing in a system which does not play with an AML or AMR because of the space that he has to run at defenders my backs are actually quite far away from my central defenders um, that's largely due to the fact that I have them with uh, PPMs of uh, get further forward playing with that PPM can be risky 
although your players your wing backs are actually quite far forward you have allowed for space to emerge behind them and this can be dangerous and you need to look out for things that the AI does um, to exploit that kind of space. If you find that your complete wing back always has to track back to get a ball, that's when you will probably need to change him to a full back on support duty. This is my F9. I love him. I don't need him to have any run with ball PPM because it's all in his attributes. I'm looking at acceleration, pace, off the ball and dribbling. And so I gave him the uh, PPM moves into channels, which actually makes him take up vertical space. His direct running will always be a problem for defenses. In a three-man strike force, you will need players to have move into channels. You will need some of them to have um, great acceleration so that they can get away from their man. You will also need them to be able to move into channels. And this will frequently get you a lot of great direct running and penalties. Alright, we have two goals to the good. Time for me to be a bit conservative, expect the backlash, so we'll change things around. You just gotta love how direct the attacking is when a team is on attacking mentality. You see players running, charging up the field. You will see attackers take up very advanced positions. Um, bear in mind that this is an attacking mentality you always need to pay attention to the weaknesses in your own system in my particular case it is the flanks but in this game city are playing like pansies and i so love the way we move the ball around our wing backs now force city to make changes to the tactic with their wing backs now on defend duty, City will lose all threat they can generate from the flanks. Depending now completely on their front two players to hold up the ball and get others involved in the play. And I don't see that happening. Half time and we are four goals to the good. This is turning out to be a very boring game. They haven't changed their system. I fully expect my fullbacks who are now playing in a rather conservative fullback support role instead of a complete wingback role to completely dominate the flanks. Um, and we should have no issues controlling midfield, seeing them come up when there's no threat. Basically, with this system they're playing, I know that my three midfielders gonna, are going to control the center and my two fullbacks are going to keep their two wingbacks shut out of the game. And because they're not coming up, we're going to isolate their two strikers up front. Well, that's the game. I've tried to translate one of my adapting series kind of stories into a video format. I hope you found it useful. And if you liked it, um, please go down to my blog at addictedtofm.com. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to this channel or leave some comments behind. Thank you and catch you later.